So it's the end to another fabulous season with WRT. A team that's become like family to me on and off the track. More ups and downs than I could ever have anticipated. Let's make this a good one. Let's make this a good one. Let's make this a good one. <laughs> Here in Bahrain for the World Endurance Championship, eight hours. This race is unique because it's the last one in my most successful season of my career, and I want to make it a good one. I'm proud to have represented WRT for the past three years. I've had so many highlights racing with them. We've won every season here so far. Fingers crossed things go our way this race. Uh, Norman's doing quali, he's about to roll out. The pit lane is live, but the session is about to turn green. Pressure's on now. For me, it's easy, but it's nice and hot. I think. It's gonna get two good chances at it. We did it. We got pole position. Uh, well, Norman did it, really. Uh, we prepped him for the whole week to get him ready for that lap and he just nailed it. Lucky we put the second set, it was a discussion to only run one. But uh, yeah, first pole of the year is just incredible. Um, yeah, it's okay to come at the last one. We get a point for that and it uh, looks like I will be starting the race from the best view of the grid. I didn't know the braking point on your tire, it's so easy to lose a car. So I brake, but it was hot, too early. I looked uh, up the bit, yeah. I was like, oh, I'm not gonna make it, I made it. And yeah, last sector I knew what to do, but deeply because I just did it before and uh, it's fine. Just arrived on Saturday at the track. It's race day, nice and hot. We are starting from pole, I am starting from pole. Uh, and yeah, just about to jump into a meeting to know exactly what our plan is and then start to get uh, ready for the race. I'm having some tea because my dad once told me that to cool down you need to drink something hot. I don't know if I believe it, but I'm trying it at least. We are signing autographs right now for the fans. They are more distracted by the drifting show that's happening behind the grandstand, but at least we have a few. Uh, you need to be there at 40. 40. So what time is now? 40, so you have 25 minutes. Grit. Uh, really nervous. Um, last night I was thinking a lot about why and how we're going to do this today and what's the best outcome, what's the worst. And um, for me, I, I like to think about what I what what I can do best and not what is uh, you know most likely to happen because uh, yeah, it's always difficult. Every race is difficult. This one will be difficult because of heat and because we are all fast and. Um, it's the difficulty that uh, motivates me to stay focused. If it was easy, then I could just turn up like any other uh, Saturday and uh, hungover and not care. But because it's difficult, I care and I want to do well and I want to make my team proud and I want to give them all a hug at the end. We all lose that we did our best. That's the attitude. Now officially just about to be two hours into the race. Rui has to do one more stint uh, to finish his driving time and then Norman will get in. So I have about an hour and a half before I will get in again and uh, do my uh, two of my last one or two stints. And uh, it was good a start. We did well. Uh, the other car kind of overtook us off the track. So still stuff being investigated, but I'm not too interested in that. We're currently in fifth position and uh, yeah we're always doing his best and then Norman will try to push on and try to get back into that podium position. Ah 
I still love you more than you love yourself right now. Okay. I uh, really. Uh... Rui wanted to do a lot better than he did. And he's being like ultra hard on himself. And, and I've been there, I've done the same shit everybody else has. And it sucks, but uh, he needs the reality check that uh, what we're doing is we're just lucky and having fun. Four and a half hours to go, so we're nearly halfway now. Uh, Norman is uh, doing a second stint now. Uh, then I will get in for for the end. Finish off now uh, with a double stint. Uh, one fantastic overtake on the United car. Down into turn one was amazing. Um, yeah, I, I felt really confident. I felt proud. I was psyched. I was excited. Uh, I knew that, uh, yeah, we're not going to win the race uh, in that very moment. You know, we were just a bit too far away. But uh, I was still happy, enjoying, and I was thinking every lap, every, the last five laps, especially about how it's kind of sad. It's my last year in this car and in that seat and everything that I've had the last two years, you know, things are changing. And we finished fourth overall in the World Championship. Uh, and uh, to say the least that I'm proud of everyone is an uh, understatement, mainly because uh, we fought until the last race for the championship. And I think that's just incredible. But where we started and, and where we finished up, um, of course, there's an element that is kind of gutting. You want to make everybody proud and, and finish off with a win and everything. But uh, still, I, I I just felt like I I did my best, me and 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 all the guys. We tried our best, and it just wasn't meant for us this weekend. So I'm I'm genuinely happy, and I'm genuinely proud of uh, my teammates. Norman, he's he's just a guy that uh, when he really wants it, he delivers and. Uh, deliver he did um, and he's just an overall funny guy I never thought I'd be such good friends with a Frenchman uh, but uh, there we go and Rui man he's uh, your incredible man you've learned so much uh, you've been so open to everything and uh, yeah in the end we we didn't maximize everything like we could have but still man I'm super proud of you and we've become such good friends and your family man uh, finally to the team it's uh i hope i will be with them again in the near future uh if not next year they've grown so close to me over the last three years and uh yeah i love all of them i'm going to hug every single one and enjoy our last evening as a team uh for this year in racing you learn that there are two sides to your sport on the one side you are with your team and they are extremely important in pit stop strategy engineering but also another side which is when you're on your own when the door shuts your visor's down and you roll out the pit lane you are completely responsible for what happens next but wrt showed me one really important lesson which is that when that relationship outside of the car with the team with your racing family is beautiful and smooth and a joy that part when you get in the car becomes so much easier you want to win for them. You want to win for your friends and family. And you want to make them proud for all the efforts they put in. And this team that can be closer compared to a family than a company has taught me that and has given me endless amounts of gratitude to have experienced this as a young guy living his dream.